adult green curtain. This is Galaxy and he's going to be our guinea pig. He's going to start out by using warm water. Not too warm, but not too cool. And he's going to wash his fur. Make sure he's nice and wet. He doesn't like this all that much, but that's too bad. You're definitely going to get wet when you bathe your person. Make sure that he gets. And then to do his head, you're going to cut your hand. And you're just going to gently go over his head and his face. Not getting any water on the face of his nose. Because Persians have those small noses. They can inhale that water and get very sick very quickly. So as you see, I'm washing his eyes. Some Persians get really yucky, icky eyes. So what I do is I do the back first. Okay. I'm up really good. This shampoo that I'm using, it will not dry his skin. It's the only shampoo that I use for my Persian and grooming other Persians. So do his back really well and then use the top of his head. And then gently, you don't want to get any soap in his eyes. You can always clean his eyes out later with those cleaning pads. The piercing pad. You scrub them up real good, being nice and gentle and nice and calm. And you put them under the water and then use that to make sure you get all the shampoo out. If you don't get all the shampoo out, you'll end up with fur that feels oily and fur that's hard to groom that looks oily and will. It just won't, he won't look very well on your dog. Okay. Here, it's absolutely sure that you do not put his head under the water. That's really, really, really good. Of course, he has his skin. His fur squeaks. It feels squeaky to me. It's very obvious. Unlike babies, you have to actually really take a good long time to get rid of all the shampoo. Because it can trick you. Just in this bottom. Sometimes Persians have hoops stuck to their bottom, and I'll show you how to clean that out in a minute. And then I do the other side of it. The legs are coming underneath his neck. Persians get their necks wet when they drink water, so I'm going to make sure you get it underneath his neck really good because he's going to put their knot up on you. Same thing. He's not getting his face wet. In the water, make sure his skin is, his fur feels squeaky. And he's going to go down the rest of him. Baths can take some time to just be patient. The first bath is always the hardest one. You want to start bathing your persons when they're babies so they'll be used to baths by the time they're his age. He's seven months old, eight months old. And then it comes to doing the butt and the tail, which he doesn't really like. He just got sick, but he stays the bathe. They're going to have poop stuck down there so you can take it out. This 
What? And that's it. You wrap them up in blankets. 